Are you testing a new software or are you working in the software industry? Then this app will be ideal for you. Hello guys, welcome to App DNA where we talk about all things apps. My name is Akshay and the application that we are going to take a look at today is Bug Tracker. When you're testing a new software or when you're using a software that's getting ready for launch, it is natural that the developers get bombarded with a lot of bugs. So if there is just one or two of them, it's easy to keep track of them. But the more you use, the more bugs are encountered by the users or the developers. So in this scenario, you need a system in place where you'll be able to keep track of all these bugs. You should be able to record them. You should be able to change their status and you should be also able to sort them based on your priorities. So the application that we are going to take a look at today does exactly the same. Let's take a look at the main features of this application. The application will have a form where you'll be able to name the bug, add a description about the bug, mark a deadline, sort it by priority, and even attach a screenshot about it. It will also have a report where you'll be able to change its status and also add further comments. We'll be using Zoho Creator, which is a low-code application development platform to make the application. So without further ado, let's get started. So guys, as usual, we are at the Create Application page of Zoho Creator and we'll be creating an application from scratch. Let's name our application as Bug Tracker 101. So the first form that we are going to create will act as a database which contains information about these bugs. So we'll create a new form and we'll name the form as new bug and we'll be dragging and dropping an auto number field to calculate the bug ID we'll be dragging and dropping a single line field for bug title we'll be dragging and dropping a radio field for status and here we're going to give the three choices now we'll be dragging and dropping a multi-line field for comments, a drop-down field for priority. We'll be dragging and dropping an image field for screenshot, a date field for deadline, and finally an email field for developer's email. So we're done building our first form. Now it's time for us to create the next one. Form will be a developer database. And we'll be dragging and dropping the basic fields such as name and email for the same. So we're done building the basic forms. Now we'll be building two new forms, which will be the assigned developer form and the change status form. So the assigned developer and change status will appear as buttons on each record in the bugs report so if you click on assign developer a developer will be assigned and if you click on change status you can change the status of that particular bug so for that we have to create two new forms which we will be using as pop-ups in the report so let's start by creating a new form and we'll name it as assign dragging and dropping a single line field for bug ID, a lookup field for the developer name and an email field and a date field for deadline. Similarly we will be creating another form for change status. This time we will be dragging and dropping another single line field for bug record ID, a radio field to record the status and we'll be giving the choices like we did in the new bug form and finally a multi-line field to record comments. Creating our first workflow over here, we'll start with something very simple where we'll be hiding a couple of fields. We'll be hiding fields such as deadline and developer email and we'll click on save we are hiding these two fields because these two fields appear in the change status and assign developer forms so we'll be able to access the data from there so we'll be hiding these fields in the new bug form 
so we have created a lot of first workflow so the next workflow that we are going to create will be on the assign developer form and we'll name our workflow as assign developer we'll be adding a new action we will first hide the bug id field time for us to add a new action we'll be doing it on user input in the developer field which is already a lookup field from the add developer form it's time for us to write the deluge code we are fetching all the information from the add developer form in regard with the developer's email let's click on save and save the workflow and we have saved it the developer gets notified each time a bug has been assigned to him so for that we have to set up an email function and we'll be adding a new notification and we'll click on send email and we'll give admin user id as a from address and the form field email as the to address we'll give the subject as new bug and we'll give the message as a new bug has been assigned to you so each time a bug is assigned the developer the person who is supposed to work on this particular project will receive a mail notification so let's click on save and save this particular workflow now it's time for us to add a custom action on success here we are fetching all the information from the new bug form such as bug id deadline developer email and we are also dragging and dropping an open url deluge task so that the page reloads and the same window pop-ups so we'll be clicking on say run with all the four custom actions in the assign developer workflow now it's time for us to create the next workflow which will be on the change status form and we'll name First, we'll be adding a Delude script on load. Let's type the Delude script. So here, what we're doing is we are hiding the bug rec ID and we are fetching data from the new bug form, which will already have the bug rec ID. We're also fetching data from the new bug form when it comes to status as well. So let's click on save and save this particular workflow. Now it's time to add the next custom action. So we'll be doing it on success this time it is going to be pretty similar to what we did in the assigned developer workflows as we'll be taking information from the new bug form and we'll be fetching data when it comes to status and comments and we have also dragged and dropped an open url deluge task so that the script page reloads and the same window so that the script page reloads in the same window so let's click on save and we have updated our workflow so we are done with all the major workflows now it's time for us to create functions we have the change status and assign developer buttons on each record of our all bugs report the all new bugs report and we'll be adding a new action for single record and we'll be naming our action item as change status Let's create the workflow, add a new action. We'll be creating our own script. So let's write the dilute script. So what we have done here is we have dragged and dropped an open URL dilute task and we have given the form as change status and it will come in the form of a pop-up window each time you click on that particular item. So let's save this workflow. Just click on done create item and that item will reflect here under for single record let's go to layout add that particular field from custom action item so it will come as a field here now similarly we'll be doing the same action and we'll click on for single record so we're going to be adding a new action and we're going to click on for single record we'll name the action item as assign developers Be adding a new action, delete script, and this is very much similar to what we have done on the change status workflow. Let's click on save, and our workflow is saved. We'll be creating the item. The item has appeared here, and we'll go to layout, and we are going to add the field from custom action item.
So guys, we're done creating our application. Now it is, so let's give a bug title. We'll give a status. Let's give a priority. We can give comments and screenshot if needed. So for the time being, let's click on submit. Let's add developers as well. Now let's go to the all bugs report. So here we have our change status and assign developers button. If we click on change status, our change status form comes over here. We'll be able to change the status from new to fixed and click on submit and the status reflects here correctly as fixed. Also, we can assign developers from here. Let's select the developer. The email has automatically been fetched. Let's give a deadline. And if we click on assign, we can see the deadline here and the developer has been assigned. So now we need to check the developer's email to see whether our application works 100%. Safe to say that our application works perfectly because we have received a mail from the admin user ID saying a new bug has been assigned to you, which is the exact words we have given in the message for the send mail task for our SN developer workflow. We've hit all our targets of our bug tracker application as we are able to have a database of bugs with status, comments, priority and screenshot. And then we'll be able to change the status once that particular bug is fixed. We'll also be able to assign developers and the developers will be notified accordingly depending on the workflow that we did. To add more features, we can also give a link to this particular report in the email. Also, if you want to change the themes, it is possible with Zoho Creator. We can also export this particular report in various formats. So that's it guys, we're done with building our bug tracker application. I hope that this application will help you Keep track of all the bugs and make your software much more stronger and effective. And also please do subscribe to our channel if you want to see more such videos. Thank you.